Happy Saturday morning to you, webheads. Mike Spider Slayer here at Comic Book Corner 2.0. It's the latest FOC video. But just wanted to say that if you guys have been following me and you know that I got tennis summer camp going on, I just completed the first week and I still managed to put a video out every single day. <laughs> so that's a little bit of an accomplishment. We'll see what it's like like eight weeks from now, right? Anyway, welcome to the FOC video the video series where I share with you the latest, the greatest, the newest, the hottest comic books getting ready to hit store shelves very soon in about a month from now. What do we see? I don't know. But if anything interests you, please let your shop know so you do not miss out. So with that being said, guys, let's get started with this week's FOC video. So as usual, we're kicking things off with Marvel and we have Blood Hunt, issue one, the second printing. That's pretty cool. And at my shop, it gives you a chance to win the Bloody Thor head variant. Uh, that's pretty awesome, man. So if you buy copies of Blood Hunt, issue one, second printing, or entered in that raffle to win that comic book. Pretty sick right there. Then we have Spider-Man Reign 2. This is issue one. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to buy this one. I think a lot of folks are anticipating it. I still never read the first one, so I'm going to have to backtrack and find it. So regardless, if I don't read that before this, I'll still read it anyway. Uh, I think this summer is going to be an exciting time here, man. We got some good books getting ready to come out. Then we have Phoenix issue one. Lots of variant covers for this one. Obviously a book centered around Jean Grey. Uh, being the Phoenix, I guess, once again. So that's pretty cool. And pick your choice of variants. Then we have The Life of Wolverine. This is issue one. So we're learning about Wolverine, I guess, right? <laughs> you got Mr. Sinister in the background. Nice looking cover there. And then we have Wolverine Deep Cut issue one. Obviously, there's a lot of Wolverine stuff going around because of the Deadpool Wolverine movie. Uh, again, nice looking covers. Wolverine covers are always great. Then on the Star Wars side of things, we have Inquisitors issue one. And so if you're a fan of the Inquisitor uh, and Star Wars, Darth Vader, all those characters, I think you'll like this one. I like that Darth Maul cover though. Then we have the Amazing Spider-Man Annual. This is issue one. So yes, it's an annual. What can we get out of it? I have no clue, man. But you know I'll pick it up. And oh, it says it's the Infinity Watch. So when it comes to all these Marvel annuals this time around, it's going to be a story being told with, I guess, Infinity Gems and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. And then we have Annihilation 2099 issue one. So this is something that's playing off of the original Annihilation and it's just set in the future. So if you guys like that story and you want to see what the 2099 version is, Check that one out. Then we have Deadpool. This is issue four. I've liked the series so far. We're going to see how it continues. Check out that cover with Deadpool facing an alien. I wonder how that battle would turn out. Then we have Venom. This is issue 35. Um, I guess this is still not the Venom War yet. Maybe this is a prelude towards it. So I'll check it out. I'll see what it has to offer. I like that cover on the right. That's absolutely hilarious. Then we move on to Blood Hunt stuff. So we have Werewolf by Night, Blood Hunt. This is issue one. So is this the book that is going to become polybagged as well? Uh, you know, I'll check this one out. So we'll see. It's it's fun. Then we have X-Men Blood Hunt, Psylocke issue one. I'm not sure how Psylocke is playing a whole role in the whole Blood Hunt situation. This is where I feel like you're doing some reaching when it comes to Blood Hunt with certain characters. But hey, who, who knows? We'll see with that one. Then we got Blood, uh, excuse me, Blood Hunt, Black Panther, Blood Hunt, issue three. The Black Panther first issue came out this week. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It's kind of getting to see what Black Panther is doing after Blade infected him. So that is a pretty solid story. Then we have Blood Hunters. This is issue three. So this is all leading into a mini series that has to do with the Blood Hunters roster. So 
I think this is going to be a fun series when that mini series comes out. Then we have Doctor Strange. This is issue 17. Also tying into Blood Hunt. Obviously, this is a major tie-in written by Jed McKay. As Doctor Strange became a vampire, he's had to leave his body to try to solve, um, to come up with, I guess, a serum to stop all these vampires from destroying the Earth. So it's been pretty good. Then we have Miles Morales Spider-Man. This is issue 22. I think at this point we're going to see Miles Morales be the vampire that he became at the end of the second issue. Or maybe the story on how he became the vampire because you didn't see it on panel. And I would like to see that. So we'll see. All right. Now we move on to DC Comics. So Zatanna brings down the house issue one. Art Germ comes in foil and non-foil. So that's pretty cool. So if you're an Art Germ collector, which I am, I'll probably pick this up. I don't know if I'll pick it up in foil, but we'll see what it's like maybe when I get to the shop. So it's really cool covers there. Then we have Absolute Power Ground Zero Issue 1. So, yep, that event's getting ready to start. I'm curious to see how this is going to affect the DC Universe as a whole. Um, this is the next big, best, excuse me, this is the next big thing for DC and, uh, how it changes their landscape is yet to be determined, obviously. All right. And then we have Wolverine. Why does this say this when it's green arrow? It says Wolverine Madripoor night, but it's actually green arrow, uh, at this point guys. So green arrow is really good series. Amanda Waller behind the mission that Ollie went on. They met up with their family looks like they were doing battle against their family. I still have to read the current issue, but I picked this one up. Then we have Harley Quinn, issue 41. Uh, Harley Quinn always has beautiful variant covers. Not sure about the story. Haven't read it in quite some time. Then we have Power Girl, issue 10. As this still continues on with the um, House of Brainiac. I thought this was only two parts, but it looks like it's another part. I still have to read the second part here. When it comes to the tie-in book. So I don't know. We'll see. I like that freaking motorcycle dragon thing. That's pretty wild, right? So yeah, we'll see what goes on there. And then we have Superman. This is issue 15. This is continuing the House of Brainiac. This is part 6 at this point. Really fun story, guys. The last issue I read was with the uh, Queen Brainiac rising. Alright, and then we move on to those... Indie Gems, we got TMNT 40th Anniversary Celebration Issue 1. So this looks like this is a big one, man. This one is priced at $12. Lots of variant covers, but if you're a TMNT collector, like some of you are who subscribe to my channel, uh, you're going to want to pick this one up. Then we have The Hunger in the Dusk is returning. So we're on Book 2. This is Issue 1. Solid Story, written by G. Willow Wilson. Then we have Kill All Immortals. This is issue one. This one is done by Dark Horse. This might be something that I might want to check out. We'll see. Fans of the Rocketeer, we have this as well from IDW. Rocketeer has some good books coming out every once in a while. Then the fans of Doctor Who are going to get Doctor Who 15th Doctor. This is issue one with all its nice variant covers as well. Then we have this interesting book right here. This is called Club Napalm. This is issue one. We got this angel chick with some wings. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Might be a good book to talk about on Worthy Ones, right? Then we have this Biden's Titans vs. Mickey Mouse. Oh, my God. What is this? This is so weird. I don't know if I'm going to be picking that one up. Then we got Universal Monsters Black Lagoon. This is issue three. Interesting book. I like issue two better than issue one. We really got to see the monster do some damage in a two-page spread. You kind of don't know what's real and what's not real in this comic book. So, yeah, really good stuff here. Then one of my favorite books on the stands right now is Rook Exodus issue three. A phenomenal book, man. I can't wait to see more character growth. The villain in this comic book. This is an absolutely standout book by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabok. And then we have Department of Truth. Looks like it's back as well. Or did it ever go away? This is issue 23 of the series. Written by James Tynion IV. 
So there you have it, Webheads. There are the latest, the greatest, the newest, the hottest comic books. Supposedly hitting store shelves very soon. So like I said earlier, if there's anything that interests you, let your shop know so you don't miss out. And guys, hopefully you enjoy a wonderful weekend. And as always, if you like my content, there's more content right here for you to click on. As always, guys, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read those comics. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you real soon. Bye.